Hello again, and welcome back to Techtopia, the village managing mod that turns Minecraft villagers into my own personal uh, workers. And today, we're going to be figuring out if these bad boys can farm 1 million carrots in 100 Minecraft days. So boys, buckle up, because we're about to touch a lot of carrots. Wait, let's give you guys a little tour of the village, huh? Don't look at my skin, that's for a different video. This is our town hall. It was the first building I put here. I think. This right here is our storage. Villagers will go in here and drop shit off. And this right here is Stevrin, our first ever villager. He's a, he's a rancher. <laughs> Let me get some farmers, miners, lumberjacks, and... Oh, oh no, we have a problem. That's a child. The moment I click this heart onto a bed, it will magically birth a kid. Because when a mommy villager and a daddy villager love each other very much, they put the people- A child is a problem, because I want the next generation of workers to be perfect. Perfection. What even is perfect? In an age where humanity has gained all the tools we could ever need to enhance our daily lives, our work lives, our species, how far can we go? With modern technologies, it appears that we may have found a barrier. That big barbed wire wall cutting open anyone who tries to cross it. The human condition. It's not the tools, it's not the method, it's, it's the humanity that's holding us back. Free will and creativity only ever prevent the working class from fulfilling their role. For it is not their purpose to think, but to perform. And so Big Business and Co. created a team of well-established scientists. All with the sole purpose of eliminating our humanity. That barbed wire wall might prevent anyone from crawling over, but we do not crawl. We take our sledgehammers and we smash, smash through the barriers keeping us mere humans from becoming gods. Using high-tech CRISPR-Cas9 technology, we were able to isolate the exact genes that caused these unnecessary thoughts, and we eliminated them. We've taken our first genetic specimen and put her in the role she was made for. Ladies and gentlemen, Big Business and Co. introduces to you, the teacher. May we educate them into submission. But at least our little one can now grow up into a powerful druid, which means our profit from mining will increase, and so will our crop yield. Now, you might be asking, Chris, why a million carrots? Why a hundred days? What's up with that Belle Delphine subscription? All those questions will be answered one day. First off, the carrots, uh, they're, they're good for your eyes. They, uh, okay, I just, I just wanted, I just wanted to do something, okay? I was getting bored. I didn't know what to do. And like, I don't know, the villagers needed food. They were starving. So, you know, I just. Uh, carrots. Now the 100 days was a lot more motivated. Uh, you see, looks good in the title. Okay, come on, fucking sue me, all right? I t what did you want me to do? Fucking uh, 10 days, 2,000, I don't, oh God, they're fuck there's fucking phantoms. Shut up, here's an ad. That's gonna look really weird to people who have ad blocker on. Okay, let's lock it. I was just chilling in the village when I realized something. There was something new vexing the town, and that thing was a little issue known as depression. Look at these fools, they're too sad to work. Nothing in their life is enjoyable in the slightest. And the only viable solution was alcoholism. Beautiful. Making a tavern gives us a lot of things, but the most important part, the fact that our villagers are happy now. And with their newfound happiness and their new affinity for bad decisions, the village was going to be expecting a lot more children, which meant a lot more high quality farmers, baby. But upon remembering how expensive a homo six was, I, uh, I decided to join the villagers and drown out my sorrows using alcohol. I began expanding the village for our new workers. I made our first home inside this hill. These weren't like the homes of our super awesome upper class villagers, but for hard working slaves. I, farmers, whoa. I even put triple door encryption on there to make sure that none of these stupid kids let any zombies in. And it worked great. Uh, and, until the villagers got stuck, that, that kind of sucked. That night, I checked up on the villagers in the tavern, and as you can see, they have never been happier. Except for our rancher, Stevron, uh, he is still severely depressed. 
As I was busy making more carrot farms, educating children, and being a general nuisance to the local wildlife, I finally found another nomad. Uh, it turns out that the only reason I haven't been getting those is because my render distance was too low. Anyways, I turned that sucker into a cleric, making sure that our villagers could be healed up on the daily, because a healthy villager is a productive villager. But even with this massive field of carrots, it still wasn't enough, and so... I began to expand, uh, uh, again. Into the mountain we go. After spending many days on the massive carrot compound, V1, I realized that the problem, for now at least, wasn't the size of the farm, but the shitty farmers we had. Luckily, in the time it took for me to build this place, the village had plenty of kids, so once they grow up, we got a lot of fast farmers on our hands. But for now, I had to keep the village happy, so I spent all my money on a chef. Our chef makes higher quality food, which means that our villagers will stay happy for longer. And as I said before, a happy villager is a productive villager. I did notice this a little problem. You see, I keep making iron tools for these guys. But whenever I look at them work, they're using wooden ones. Turns out that they just waste their tools really, really fast. And I wasn't going to be making any more for them because, I don't know, I got better things to do. Like committing tax fraud or increasing the rent on that single mother of five. So it was time to get a blacksmith. Oh my god, why is it so expensive? Back to that scumbag trader we go. Now selling lots and lots of our produce. Can you tell how happy I am to see this fucker again? <sighs> I hate my job. Now this asshole leaves us with some problems. You see, I can only sell a limited amount of items per day. And I don't get any say on what items those are. And now that we have a toolsmith and a chef... Most of these items are things that I don't have. So I feel like you can guess where most of my time went. Straight into the pockets of this fucker. Now, while I was busy trading, I did do a couple calculations. And yeah, we're not gonna make it with just a V1. And so, I introduce you all to the massive carrot compound V2. Codename, The Tower. I mean, if our goal is New York, then we already have one tower. Uh, let's just hope there never becomes a number two. We had more and more problems with mobs killing our cleric, and over the past couple days, farmers have been dying too. Luckily, the village kids finally started growing up, leaving us with a bunch of highly intelligent workers. So we now have a smith, an extra guard, and a new cleric, which also means I'm broke now. Anyways, those new guys are great for the village, but bad for carrots. Right now, I am absolutely carrying carrot production, because we barely have enough farmers around. And so I started stocking up, saving emeralds so I can buy as many farmer tokens as possible. The moment we got new nomads, the moment we got new kids, I had to turn them into farmers, or else we were not going to make it. I ended up doing some more fancy calculating, and with I, I mean ChatGPT. And together we came to the conclusion that this run is fucked. Unless I got myself a really, really big farm. <laughs> I thought the carpal tunnel would have stopped once I ended the hardcore series, but no, I'm still doing stupid shit like this. My hands actually fucking hurt. Is being a Minecraft YouTuber bad for your health? They never told me that when I signed up. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> well, boys, it cost me a bunch of time and the ability to move my fingers without accidentally triggering a nerve ending, but... I finally have it. The massive carrot compound, V3. Code name, Carrot Fields Forever. This thing is uncanny big. It actually takes me a day to manually farm half of the farm. But uh, we're nearing the end of the run. And according to my calculations with all our compounds, we should be producing way more carrots than we need. But there was one factor I, I failed to consider. Villagers. Villagers are limited. With our homes in the hill filled with slaves, with most of the village being populated by farmers, all with one goal, and that being to farm as many carrots as possible, I began to forget that these fuckers, even the intelligent ones, were slow. The fields they spent the entire day harvesting, I can finish in a minute. It turns out that it's true. Want something done? You gotta do it yourself. It's time. It's time I left my position as part of the rich bourgeoisie and took on my role in the working class. It was time that I farmed carrots by hand. Well, boys, it's 
day 100 and going by my calculations it it seems like we 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 failed wait we failed hard we barely even got halfway there but but how i i created carrot fields forever i i enslaved so many i spent hours and hours manually clicking on some cubes i got a fucking carpal tunnel from this shit how did i fail i don't i don't get it no, no, I, I, I do. I completely understand it, and I have since the beginning of this video. These, these people, they don't want to be farmers. They want to be more. This one wanted to be a druid. This one wanted to be a teacher. And this one, this one wanted to become a Minecraft YouTuber. Get away from those kids. But I, I, I didn't care. I gave them all a job, a job that they had to obey without any say in it. So of course they were slow. Of course this didn't bring out their potential. They never wanted to be a carrot farmer. If I had just done this myself from the start, we wouldn't be in this mess. Perhaps slavery is... is bad. Come on, y'all really believed me there for a minute, didn't ya? These are just villagers, they have no value. And neither does this button. Yes! Die, you pieces of human filth! Oh, Redcrab was able to get like, what, 10 million melons in one video? You guys couldn't even give me a couple carrots. What do you guys think this is? Fucking Nico and Cash? Now we kill these fuckers if they don't obey. <laughs> Burn in the presence of my greatness. Oh. Wait, what? Hey, hey. Oh. Getting ready for some karaoke I'm trying to make an impression that they'll remember next year